What's going on guys? It's Chandler here with the channel. Come back to you guys again with another video. Today, a video requested by you guys. We're going to do a parts installation and a how-to video on how to replace the safety and the magazine release on a CZ Scorpion. But first, of course, we're clear. First and foremost, before getting started, this video was a request by you guys. So if anybody at any time has a request for a video, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. We'll look, see if we can do it, and if we can, we will get that video filmed and put up. As always, leave us a like and subscribe if you like content like this, and let's go ahead and get into it. All right, of course, the first thing you're gonna wanna do when working with any firearm is to take the bolt back, Check it in there, feel around in there, nothing in there, clear as can be. What you're gonna wanna do after that, of course with Scorpion to disassemble, you gotta keep your bolt open anyway. Rotate it down, disassemble your lower from your upper, just like that, rotate it down. Since everything we will be doing is attached to the lower, we will not be using the upper for anything else. Okay, so on our lower here, we will be going through two things in this install. Now, I already have both the parts replaced, but what I'm going to do is I will just uninstall them and reinstall them to show you the process. It really doesn't make the difference, but what we are going to be doing is replacing the right side safety selector on the CZ Scorpion, which obviously can just be mirrored to the left side. And then of course, we will be replacing the magazine release on the bottom as well. Okay, so what we will need for our magazine release replacement is of course your magazine release. This particular one is the mag release by Strike Industries. I really like this release, ambidextrous and um, Gives you a little bit of extra controls that you want. You'll have some controls on the bottom, forward, and a traditional MP5 style duck bill. I prefer to have an empty magazine. Make sure your magazine is empty. Never keep live ammunition around your firearm when you are working on it. And then, of course, we will need a mallet with soft tip and roll pin punch set. We obviously already have the magazine release installed, the upgraded one, but I still have the stock one here. And one of the reasons I like this mag release is it comes with an extra pin and spring because I'll show you here in a second, I'll give you some warnings, is this spring can be very easy to mess up in the install. Since we're dealing with roll pin punches, need to have something to capture them. I usually just use a roll of duct tape to base mine on. Get your receiver here. Doesn't really matter which side you put it on. I'm gonna use the right side. Find your appropriate sized punch. Looks like it's gonna be the 1 8 punch. All you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you're on a good base, good platform. Go ahead and get yourself something to put under your punch board, I guess. In this case, it is a roll of duct tape. And all you're gonna to wanna to do is line this up, then just Easy as that. Pin comes out, then your punch is held there, keeping everything in place. With your finger down this groove here, with the lighting just right, you can see that there's a plate on this left side. The spring is housed in there. So what we're gonna do, put some compression on that spring, pull your punch out, and then slowly release that. And then from there, you can just slide that out and your spring comes with it. After that, obviously at this point in time, if this was the regular magazine release, what we would do is we would take our little spring out and if you're gonna do anything with it, clean it off or anything like that, house it back just like so as it was and this is where the tricky bit starts. Refer back to the Strike Industries one, I like it a lot because they include an extra spring if you mess it up because uh, this can be very, very easy to mess up. Right in there, you can see, just barely in there, right there, that there is no groove for this spring. And that is what makes this next step so important. 
you're gonna keep your spring straight. And what I like to do is don't wedge it in, but once you're in there, you can see the spring sticking out. It houses right above that. With this, with this one, you kind of have a little cheat of where this lines up on the bottom. But then you want to just line that up best you can. And so it's resting there. There's no pressure on it. Then what you're going to want to do is take your punch. And it's important to have the size of the punch correctly so that it makes this process easier is you want to take that punch and use it as a guide for when you're lining everything up. So use it as a guide, line it up. So that way, this isn't seated 100% and it's not under extreme tension and it's not pinned into place. However, you can then use this to cycle the magazine release and get it to where that spring wants to be naturally situated. And that's why I recommend having a spare magazine. All right, so if it works properly, you should be able to seat the magazine, take it out without issue. You can do that a couple times. Now, with that, you can see it is lined up fairly well on the bottom as well with this particular release then you want to take your pin and have it start pushing that punch back out away because how this receiver works is the roll pin is a slide pin on the receiver size but it's a friction pin on the magazine or on the magazine release so it will slide into the receiver pull friction on the magazine release and so what you can do is simply Press in far enough, get yourself a solid base again, start driving your roll pin in while holding your punch to the other side so that it will keep everything in alignment. And this can be a tricky part. Then, once you've got that through, you can use your roll pin punch to finish it off and take it to the other side. Do a couple last little taps to get it even. And we're looking good. Obviously now, you want it to spring back to normal. You want it to perform regularly and of course, drop the magazine freely and spring back as it's supposed to. And that's how you change your magazine release. All right, so now we are going to do our safety lever replacement. For this one, we are going to be doing the right side. As you can see, and I guess from the part here, we have an HB Industries Mini AK safety selector already installed on this side. Now what we're going to do is to essentially just take this off, show you the process, and we'll reinstall it right back. So for this, all you're going to need is, of course, your replacement lever. Don't even need this anymore. I like to have a paper towel to keep my parts on if I will be replacing them, uh, so that way they don't roll freely. Uh, and then you'll just need a little screwdriver set uh, for either hex or star bits. Now you'll go to your receiver and you can see on mine now, just like when I tore it down, it is on safe and from there you want to put your receiver, you want to take your safety selector and you want to put it to fire. So once it's in the fire position, you can see there is now an exposed screw on both sides. So. Since those are now exposed, all we need to do is to get our screwdriver and pick the right size bit. What fits into the Scorpion Safety Selector set screw is a T6. So take your T6 screwdriver, search for it a bit, and then all you gotta do is find that screw 
unscrew that screw and then be very careful not to lose it. That's all it is. Then from there, your safety selector comes straight off. They do have the how to line it back up, not by grooves in the actual selector, but it's the hole uh, can only line up one way for the right and the left side. So from there, you've got it off. You take your old one, if you wanna replace it with a new one, you can. So while I'm doing this, I will get myself a little bit of Loctite, get your screw lined back up, and then slowly walk it in. You wanna make sure you do not strip this screw. And then once you get it set, should be very, very easy to screw back into the position. So now, good to go. And that's gonna do it for this video, guys. This was viewer requested content. If you guys have any requests of videos that you'd like us to make, installs or whatever it may be, let us know and we'll see if we can get it done. These two parts are very easy to swap out and in my opinion, makes for uh, a much more ergonomic experience for the Scorpion. If you want to see more videos like this, let us know in the comments down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. If you have any requests for any more videos like this, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. As you know, we try to get back to every single comment as soon as we can. As always guys, we've got a lot of great content in the pipeline, so stick around for that. This has been Chandler with Range Day, where every day is Range Day. Have a good one, guys. Some good work there. Beautiful bouquet of shots. Yep. That was an arrangement of marksmanship <laughs> skills. So good. I need... Is that it?